Hey guys, today we're going to draw this really cute cartoon bear. Now a few things before we get started. I want you to try holding your pencil towards the middle and much more importantly, I want you to hold on to your pencil really loosely and that way we can erase our guidelines. By the way, I um, do caricatures and I did a really fun special caricature um, that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. So if you are an OU football fan, you'll want to stick around. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome to Drawing with Danny. This channel is not about teaching you how to draw particular things. It's about teaching you how to draw so that you can draw anything. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, just a reminder, hold your pencil um, more towards the middle and much more importantly, hold on to your pencil really loosely. So as always, we want to start with the largest shapes and he has two large shapes. See this nice horizontal oval here? And then also a bigger shape is the um, vertical, bigger oval. We're going to start with the smaller one. So let's go ahead and draw this oval, which is going to become a snout. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the larger oval. which is going to encompass pretty much the rest of his head except for his ears. So see how the bottom has a little bit of a curve, but it's not as curved as the top. There we go. Got the two main shapes down. Now let's go ahead and draw his nose. And we can see that the top portion of his nose actually goes higher or beyond the top of the first oval that we drew. See that? And I would characterize the shape as a, either a soft triangle or two shapes, an oval on the top with a triangular point at the bottom. And actually, it would be easier to draw in two stages versus one. So if you find this difficult to draw, draw an oval at the top and then a little small triangle at the bottom and then erase the line between the two. Okay, now let's go ahead and transform this part and make it look more like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the bottom edge of this oval and now we're going to aim a line right up towards that triangular point of the nose. See that? Now I'm going to introduce a new line connected to that line and I'm going to go downward and merge that new line with this part of the, um, of the oval. See that? So now we can get rid of that old line that we no longer need. And then since we're in this area, let's go ahead and draw his lower lip. That's what this line indicates. Okay, let's go ahead and do his eyes. Go ahead and draw his eyes. Before we do that, let's go ahead and erase though this part of the oval. So we're just going to erase that right portion of the first oval that we drew. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw his eyes. And his eyes, of course, are two pretty good sized circles. And I love his expression. He looks like, wouldn't it be fun if he was camping, a bear camping? But he looks like he's like, um, he's camping and it's nighttime and he, and he heard a sound and he needs to go outside and investigate what that sound was. And, he, <laughs> and he's too afraid to. But um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and like I like to do, I'm going to draw lines, curved lines back through the eyes and go ahead and draw his eyeballs underneath those lines. Give him a different expression than this guy has. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw its ears. And I always tell people to focus on not the subject matter as much, the ear, but focus on the shape that makes up the subject matter. In this instance, they look like letter C's. So see, I've drawn a letter C outside, a bigger one, and then a smaller one inside. And now I'm going to erase this part of the original line from, for, the, um, for the larger oval that we drew. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw the other ear on the other side. And the same thing, we want to draw the letter C in the opposite direction this time. And then an inside um, letter C smaller of course and then once again erase the line 
Okay, let's go ahead and draw its floating eyebrows right above his head there. And let's go ahead and draw the two triangle shaped hairs underneath his ear. One, two. See that? And go ahead and erase the lines there. And then lastly, let's go ahead and draw its bow tie. So he's got two shapes that make up his bow tie. And they are a rectangle in the middle. And notice the lines that I'm drawing for the sides here. They're not straight. They're curved like this. And I'm going to connect those at the top. And these lines can be straight. The one at the top and the bottom. And let's go ahead and draw the remaining part of the bow tie, which are two triangles sticking out from the rectangle in the middle. And then we've got two little lines here indicating a wrinkle. Let's do it on the other side. Triangle. And connect that here and draw the line through the middle. Then erase all of your sketch marks. And we have ourselves a really adorable little bear. Okay, as promised, I did a caricature of this year's Heisman Trophy winner. I'm predicting this. Kyler Murray from Oklahoma, the quarterback. Um, by the way, I'm going to be printing t-shirts and prints of this image. And if you guys are interested in either of those, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time.